Hello. Are you excited? Well, it will be about Waf Sam Eldar Bividov um, uh, dealing with uh, WAF, uh, security of Waf uh, applications and also in process of uh, uh, get, uh, w w getting my uh, master degree. And uh, I will talk about WAF. What is the problem after all? Customers always approach, often approach us to uh, ask for protection for their web applications. But the most uh, appropriate protection for things like APS uh, uh, and uh, WAFs of the next generation, WAFs looks more promising. The problem is there are too many of them, and each of them is based on some uh, special ideology and uh, some specificities in terms of integration into infrastructure uh, and some special requirements for the staff uh, training. Now I'd like to look at uh, WAFs uh, from the point of view of uh, protection uh, of uh, web applications. WAF needs to ha uh, have six protection mechanisms to guarantee data security for web applications. Some of them are simple, like uh, protocol checks, and uh, some others are more complex, like uh, uh, machine education. I will point out some of them uh, for you to more or less understand how WAF uh, uh, gives you protection and what to look for. It starts from very basic things like protocol uh, verification. It serves as a limiting factor because it uh, narrows the area uh, for intruder, like RFC check, or it uh, uh, limits the number of parameters and the length of parameters so that uh, all uh, inquiries look legal. It also, there are also uh, checks uh, for time parameters, uh, and uh, finally, for looking, it looks for illegal bytes. The next <coughs> Uh, line of protection is uh, blacklisting in the form of signatures. Signature is uh, quite an old protection method. In the WAF context, it's still relevant because uh, web applications which are um, modern and which are published uh, now are very subject to attacks. And uh, it's actually a, a beneficial thing. WAF uh, can, uh, uh, is, has the mechanism of uh, uh, model building, and uh, WAF gives you protection when the sample uh, model is not yet built. And it can also affect the teaching process and make it more uh, clean. If you compare different vendors' signature, analysis, you, you, you see the difference in the number of signatures. You can also uh, look at uh, whether the signature is uh, seen or it is hidden. And also some vendors may produce signature as uh, correlation rules. Uh, some modern vulnerabilities, even well known, are not always effectively uh, found with just one signature. It takes some more sophisticated security policy which takes into account the frequency of occurrence, the meaning of the headings, the range of IP addresses and other things. So when we move from blacklists, so moving from blacklists, uh, they're more reliable because they're formed via machine learning. There are the different formats of the access indicators. There is the Atlon model, and all the algorithm that doesn't correspond to the model is thrown out as illegal. So this kind of a profiling. So we compare different vendors. Uh, it's hard to compare due to different reasons because the mathematical algorithm, the statistical algorithm is close, it's not published, so that's why we cannot research it in a scientific kind of way. Second problem is that 
the framework of a lab research, there is never and can never get enough of live traffic because WAFs they are existing in the real internet with real threats. However, we can estimate here two tools like this. First, the setting of the parameters of the machine learning and the and the objectives. So look at uh, the actual vendors. Some uh, offer very precise tuning. For example, we can build up the end and the start learning. We can highlight certain AP transfer ranges for the tested uh, for the testing zone and so on. Other vendors could never could not even provide the learning parameters apart from the, the duration of the period. And this is what should be prepared for when you make the choice. Optimization of the standard model works uh, as the protection mechanism from the underlearning of the machine when the app was changed by the developer, uh, which often happens during the cycle of development. When the model starts to fall significantly, the optimizer aggregates it, and according to a special condition, the, um, the object is being sent to relearning. So by default, if every hour the object uh, was found, probably it's falsing, and there's a need to relearn, reteach the object. When we see it in the slides, so we start when we build the object into our standard model, and this is the condition when we consider it done. The next tool for protection is our user um, rules. This is a wider setting. The point is that the operator of the um, At the applied level, has done a lot of things, validation, parsing, because the administrator probably wants something of his own, the pin test, the tasks to split the access to web apps, and so on and so forth. And he is thinking how he'll be able to use all those rules for internal rules, so WAF would give those opportunities not only to internal mechanisms, but also to the administrator as the tool. Here I would compare two approaches. On this slide, there are solutions by two vendors. The solutions are the same tasks, the protection of web app from phasing. In one case, it uh, can be a simple correlation rules of certain criteria. In the second case, it's, assume it's built in a programming language, so you can do whatever you want to. So each would choose anything he wants, depending on the qualification and his wishes, uh, the client's wishes. So. If there is a range of certain details and the stuff would be able to uh, work on that, it's worth choosing the programming language. But if the uh, B administrator said B is not qualified enough and needs to react quickly to certain aspects, then it would be better to choose the coordination rules out of uh, ready-made criteria. The next protection tool, I would not say that it's a, a must, but um, it's interesting in the context of WAF because Web suggests um, this kind of a service. Uh, the first mechanism that's built in many Wefs is bot mitigation. Uh, so as a response to there is the JavaScript built into the web app, which according to certain parameters identifies whether the, uh, this machine has been infected or not. So if machine is infected, then probably the query that uh, came to it was the part of the activity of the botnet. And this kind of JavaScript can cut off a lot of botnets from the attack, which will decrease its efficiency. Uh, also, there are certain techniques to uh, detect the DDoS, but it's more interesting to check out the reactions, the ways to uh, in which web reacts at the apply level. Of course, first is proof of fourth challenge. Perhaps a lot of you has heard this term according to the Bitcoin protocol when the machine that expressed its opinion about the, whether the transaction is legal or not must um, uh, build some proof of work into its opinion, the guarantee that the machine has been spending resources. So when our website is under attack, we build in uh, this uh, task uh, into each response of the web app, uh, hence uh, slowing down the source and making each client spend a certain amount of time to solve uh, 
uh, the test that we sent them. If the solution is wrong, then we throw out this kind of query. But as a rule, if it's the real machine, if it's a browser, it will spend some time and give us the right response. So this kind of slow down of the source, very interesting slow down of the source. The next mechanism is capture challenge. Everybody knows this. The session is validated by the capture, and it's, it's identified as a human one. And shaping blocking on its level, we uh, give certain line to every user which cannot be exceeded. And the last thing here, which is in built-in WAFs, it's the integration. Overall, WAF is a modern protection, data protection tool. must be very well integrated into the general landscape. That's, that increases its efficiency and the efficiency of the entire IT security of the enterprise. Here, it's important to be integrated into the vulnerability scanner and realize the virtual, virtual patching function the, of automatic updates of our vulnerabilities. It's important to integrate correctly with CCM systems and another possible integration with the ADAPS activities and monitoring, WebDB correlation, and also the modern trends like reputation services and uh, fraud prevention services. This is where I would probably finish my presentation for today. No need to worry. Keep calm. Choose your wife. So another thing would I love to ask uh, to show is show a certain file. So things I told you about, this is the tip of the iceberg. When I first addressed the question uh, of the WAF choice, I made this huge list of criteria where I put into um, uh, uh, count all these details to uh, compare these products on more academic basis. And now we're, when new people, new products come to our company, we get them through this beautiful model and have the understanding of what is there, what isn't there, and, and on and on. Thank you very much. We'll gladly answer your questions. Thank you. Uh, can you talk to me? I'll tell you everything. Yeah, you can catch me in a conference. I'll gladly talk to everybody if you have certain questions to ask. Thank you very much.